Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, in the series we're doing on the uh, leaded glass solar lanterns, so we're going to show you how to make one more. This is going to be a four-pointed star. We're going to use four uh, solar lights in that one. These are the ones that we've used in the other projects. These are the tops off our garden stakes with the uh, solar panel in the top. Uh, they uh, charge during the daytime. At nighttime, they have a photo cell that lights them up. So uh, we're going to uh, you, we're going to put four of these in this star that we're going to make. So our next uh, situation is we need to find out how big we're going to make this star so we can get all these lights in here. So I'm going to show you a little trick how to do that. It's a little bit little bit complicated, but we'll be uh, we'll we'll work it out. I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to start here. I'm going to use a couple pencils. I'm going to use a blue one. This is going to give us our our centers for our project. And we're working on with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So uh, 11, half of that's five and a half. And we're eight and a half. We're going to go to four and a quarter, four and a quarter inches. So we're just going to take and we're we'll taking draw out on this with our little blue line here. And then we're going to take our solar light and we're going to measure across it and it's this particular solar light is two and three eighths of an inch so what we're going to do here we're going to split this up two and three eighths it would be one and three sixteenths so we're going to put a little mark right here one right here come over here one and three sixteenths one right here and two and three eighths right there and we're going to draw a couple more lines here. Just like that. Now these lines will represent where our solar lights are going to go. So our solar light's going to fit in here like this, in between these lines. This is the width of them. So as we get them all set in here, you notice we're going to have we're going to have a gap in the middle here. Now, the reason for that is if we were to put these right together like this. Then it would be an unequal side because we've got now these are two between here and here is shorter than between here and here. So we have to figure out exactly how we're going to do this. So we're going to move these out so that they create a square in the middle here. And we need to figure out what size that square is so we can figure out where we're going to put these lights. So you put them in kind of with your eyeball and then measure them here. We're looking for five and seven eighths right there five and seven eighths right here. So we'll just measure across here and it says that uh, we're going to need a uh, square in the middle here right around one and an eighth inches. So what we'll do, we'll take these out of here and we'll take and we'll put one and an eighth inches right here. So one and an eighth inches is a half and a sixteenth or nine sixteenths of an inch. So we'll put here a couple little tick marks there. We're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to just draw a small box right here. Okay, with this small box now, what we're going to do with this, this will tell us where our spacing is going to be on these lights. So there's our box. So now we take our lantern in between the two lines here and we go all the way up to this little box right there. And we make sure we're in between our lines. This one here is going to go all the way up to the box. Right there. This one's going to go all the way up to the box right here. Make sure you're still within your lines here. And this one here is going to go right to the box also. Right there. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take and we're going to mark around the outside edge of these. Be careful not to move them. We don't want them, we don't want them to be disturbed. Okay, so now this would be our our four solar lights. Now, we're going to create, the star is going to be created from the bottom here. And we're going to use our 60 degree triangle, this one right here. And we're going to come in here and we're going to set it right here. We're going to come up to this right about, just from here to the edge right here, about an eighth of an inch. And we're going to take and we're going to draw a down line here. And then we're going to turn this over. Going to make sure we got a little bit of a space right here. Here again, about eighth of an inch. Okay. Then we're going to turn our sixty-degree triangle sideways here. And we're going to go right here. We're going to go up here. We're going to come in here, just right here. This is the other light right here. We're going to make sure it's about an eighth of an inch. And we're going to go right here to here. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to do the same thing. Then what we're going to do, we're going to be able to measure from here to here. It says it's supposed to be three and an eighth inches. So three and one eighth inches. That'll be how big our panels will be. So we can put this right here if we want to finish this on out to show you. So we go to three and an eighth right here. We'll just take and move this back out here. this come down we can just go right up here we can take this measurement right here and go right to there same way over here this one here is going to sit in here like this Up to the top. Come over to it right here. There's our four pointed star. So we have eight equal sides here, all of the three and an eighth inches right here. So now, if we've done this right, all these lights should be able to fit in here with a little bit of wiggle room so we can move them around just a little bit when we get done. That's what we want. We got uh, plenty of room everywhere here. So that's perfect. So what we're gonna do, we'll go offline now and we will build us a frame. We've done that on some of the other videos. If you've watched my other videos, uh, we'll build us a frame three and eight inches wide and we're gonna go ahead and we'll show you how we're gonna build these panels out. So we're gonna make eight of them. Four of them, we're gonna have hangers on them. Uh, four of them will have no hangers. So when we put them together, we'll put them together right here as a group of four, and then we'll marry them all together as the one. So we'll be back in a minute and we'll get ready to set up our form. All right, we're back. So we're gonna go ahead and build the frame for this. Uh, on our first drawing there, we need to make this uh, frame three and an eighth inches wide. So the way we're gonna do that, we're going to move a couple of these things out of the way here and we're going to take our square here here again like we've done in the other videos i'm using a carpenter square i'm going to push it right in here and i'm going to take our header board this is the one that's going to be across the top of all the panels it has a little notch here this is where our hanger will go down in here and uh, so we're going to set this right in here and we're just going to take and we're going to tack it to our our work table here 
So we'll just put a couple, a couple of these wire brads in here to hold it. Then we're going to take a couple of side pieces here. Uh, we talked about these before. I'll tell you one more time. These are made out of three quarter inch pine. Uh, I just set the gate on my uh, table saw at about a quarter of an inch and just ripped these through it. So they make a nice uh, small form material and it's nice and straight. So that works good. And as I said before in a couple of videos, if you don't have uh, a table saw and you want to use some small uh, trim, that works just as well. You can get it at the hardware store and uh, it works good to make uh, your forms with. So we're going to set one in here like this. I'm going to come right down here. We're just going to pull this away about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch away from here. Give us some room for our hanger to go in here. And we'll take and we'll tack this down. So we're going to push this. I'm going to push this right up against the glass, just like that. Or right up against the square, I'm sorry. And we'll put one more right here. Okay, now we're going to take our square out. And we're going to turn it over, push it down, take our second side for this, and we're going to shove it in here right like that. We're going to get our ruler out, and we're looking for three and an eighth inches. So that's not quite three, so we need to pull this out just a little bit further. Still not quite enough. Okay, there's three and an eighth right there. This is critical because uh, if we make this smaller than three and an eighth inches, when we build our panels, uh, when we get ready to put all of our lights in, it won't be big enough, and then you've got a problem. So uh, we want to run four of these solar lights in this panel, so we want to be sure this is three and an eighth inches across. So it measures three and an eighth right now. So we're just going to take and we're going to just take and put this down here. Take and... Tack that down. Put one more right here. Be good. And stick one more right here. Okay, so we're right at three and eight all the way along here. So now what we're going to do is going to go off line here. We're going to cut our U came to go in here, and the U came will uh, uh, go around all the edges across the top and back up and uh, since we're going to make eight of these panels I'm going to head and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut all of the U came form so we'll have 16 down pieces we're going to have eight pieces to go across the top for our header and uh, when we come back with that we'll go ahead and show you how we're going to put this together we'll go ahead and cut our glass to go in here for our header it'll be uh, some kind of an opaque glass so it'll hide It'll hide our solar lights, which are going to be sitting in here like this. So we don't want those showing. So we're going to uh, come back and, and uh, show you how we're going to do that. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff here now that we've gotten cut. Uh, these are going to be our down pieces for our glass coming down each side of the, uh, of the project. Uh, they're a ribbed uh, iridescent glass. I had some of this left over from a previous project so I uh, just cut it into small strips we're going to use that we've got all our lead cut over here for the down pieces and for the headers across the top here we also have a piece right here that goes underneath the header here after we put the header in our headers are over here we have four of them that I've ground back for our hanger four of them are just straight and uh, we've got our four uh, cotter pins here we're going to use those to make our hangers out of and uh, I've showed most everybody uh, on other videos how we do that. We'll go ahead and do it one more time so you can get a view of how we do this. So these cotter pins are uh, steel. They're zinc plated. They're 3 seconds in diameter. They're an inch and a half long. And to make this work, you just take your long nose pliers and you stick it in the loop. Take and put it up on the side. And you use a small piece of brass tubing that has 3 32nd hole across the middle. And you just slide it up on the leg and then you just take and you bring this out to a 90 degree just like that 
we'll go ahead and do uh, all four of them so you guys can get a feel for how to do this. Um, if you're interested in doing a hanger like this, uh, there's also a little video that I put out on how to do it. So uh, you can kind of take a look at that real quick and see if that helps you out if you're, if you're still a little confused on how this works. But um, this goes in between the glass and the came on the inside. So uh, you'll never see that all you see is the loop. And uh, I've been using these for a long time. Uh, I started back when we lived in Arizona. I had a lot of wind in Arizona. I was always afraid if I just soldered a ring or something on the outside of these, they would come flying off sometime in the wind. Because uh, by the time we get them all together, they are fairly heavy. So we're just going to bring that out to a 90 degree like that. So we don't need those anymore. So anyway, the reason uh, we have our glass ground back here is that when we put the leg in here, it's going to sit in here like this. By grinding it back, it keeps the width here and down here the same. The only other thing we need to do to these hangers right here, uh, you see that one's kind of sticking out a little bit, just take and bend it back a little bit because you want it to make a 90 just like, but it's sticking over the edge right there. So what we're going to do with that, we're going to take a, just a standard pair of long nose pliers. They're about a quarter of an inch thick, so I just usually just stick this through here until I see the end of the cotter pin sticking out. And we're just doing the down leg of this. So we're just taking cut these off like this. So that's how we're going to make the hanger. Okay, let's put those out of the way. So then what we do is we take a piece of came. This is our U came. Has the letter U. Cut on a 45 and we're going to just set it in here like this. We're going to take one and put it in here like this. And then over here, we have our headers. We have four that have no notches in them. We have four notches in them. The notches, the notches are where these are going to go inside. And these cotter pins will sit right inside like that. And then this goes down inside the came. You just take and you just bring it down like that. You bring your other piece of U came down. And then you take your header piece with the cutback right here. You insert it in the top here and you bring it down and you slide it right in place just like that and we'll take one of our little H cames which we cut here and it's going to sit in here like that we can take a push pin and push it in here like this we're building on a homozoite board so we're just using push pins rather than uh, you probably have seen people use horseshoe nails and things like that. Uh, this works out fairly fairly nice and it's easy to work with. So now our, our down pieces are going to go in here. So each panel will be this each panel will be exactly the same in this uh, situation. And then in the middle here after we get this in here we're just going to take a couple pieces of H came in here. Put it in here. And we'll get a couple more pins here. Stick that in there. Just put this one here in here. Now I was able to cut all these the same because uh, we're going to make eight panels that are going to be all identical up to this point. After this point, we're going to go ahead and mix up everything that's in the middle of it. So uh, from there, you'll just kind of custom build it. Uh, you can put anything you want to in the middle. You can put a, some diamonds in here. We can take this one out now. We don't need it. We can put some diamonds in here or any kind of thing you're going to do. We're going to lay just a regular uh, cut strips out. We're going to stagger them all the way down. And when we get down to the bottom here, we're going to put a piece of u came across the bottom. We'll check it with our T-square, make sure it's square. And then we'll go ahead and solder it up. So I'm going to go offline now and I'll fill that up. And uh, then we'll come back and uh, we'll... Uh, show you how we're going to put the rest of this together. The glass that's going to go in here is going to be all different types of glass. So anyway, we, uh, we'll take a piece of, say, say we're just going to start with this little blue one here. Uh, we'll just set it, it would just sit in here like this, like that. We'd take and run our H came down here and then we'd start to build this all in. So we're going to go off camera. We'll go ahead and fill this all in. And then when we come back, we'll put our piece on the end here. And we'll go ahead and solder it up and that'll be our first panel. So we'll be back uh, as soon as we get those made up. All right, we're back. We got our uh, panel all filled in here now. You can see that we just filled it in with colored glass all at random here. So we need to put a uh, piece of 
you came across the back of it. So I've already cut a piece here. So it's going to fit in here just exactly like that. And then I have a small uh, piece of our form wood here uh, that I'm going to push up against this. Then I'm going to take my little plastic T-square again. I'm going to set it right in here. And I'm going to be sure that it's nice and square. And if I need to, I can take my hammer and just tap it really light to make sure it's square. You want to keep these all square so when we put them together, they'll, they'll all be the same on the bottom. Then we just put a couple pins in it. Okay, so from here, I want to do something right here. I don't. I, I want to strengthen this area. This is where our hanger is going to be. We're going to make this eight-sided, so uh, it's going to get fairly heavy. So our hanger is right here. So I'm going to run a, a piece of uh, came down here, but we didn't leave this open. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take, take a piece of uh, H came, this one right here, and we're going to go in here and we're going to cut the heart out of it with your dikes. Just come in here and cut this apart here like that. Then you take your dikes and take and trim up any loose ones here that is hanging down. This just helps stiffen that corner there. And uh, we'll do this on all eight panels, even though two, even though four of them won't have a, won't have any uh, hangers on them. They'll just make it look all uniform. So this just sticks in here like this. And then we need to trim that just a little bit. You have to trim it real close. And I want to set it on an angle here. Like right here. And I want to push it up in there. That's still too tight. So we just trim just a little bit more. And I'm talking just a fraction of an inch there. There we go. So we'll set it in here. And we'll push it right in here like that. I want to make it straight. Just exactly like that. That'll break that up. So our hanger, our arm on our hanger goes back underneath here. So that'll help hold this corner really nice and snug. So if you're watching any of my other videos, you'll notice I usually take a little stainless steel brush. One that looks like this. I'll take and brush all of our joints down. So uh, I hold, I'm going to have to hold this one here. I cut that a little bit too short. So I'll just hold it in here. If you, do, if you cut it a little bit too short, if you want to, you can just take a little bit of white glue. Just stick it down for about five minutes and then go ahead and, and uh, solder it in there and it'll be in good shape. So these colors are just going to put in here at random. Uh, all the panels, like we said before, all the panels will have this ribbed iridescent glass plus the header will be all the same. And then the rest of it filled in here will be all at random, whatever is going to be a kind of be a builder's choice. You can just do whatever you want. So I'm using a liquid flux here. So I'm going to take and I'll put flux on all of these joints. Make sure that's straight. All right. If you miss one of these joints, it'll show you uh, because it won't solder real smooth. And all you have to do is just come back over it and put some flux down on it. So I'm using a 60-40 solder. I usually just take and cut a uh, about an 8 to 10 inch strip off of it because I like to lay my solder down flat when I solder against it. And uh, the soldering iron we're using is, uh, like in all the other ones, is the uh, Waller 100 watt. has a 700 degree tip, so that regulates how hot it is. You can just take and tin it with your lead <coughs> solder. Then we're just going to take and we're going to start right here and we're just going to take and put it down here real light. Just a little. I usually like to take off about a sixteenth of an inch right off the end of the solder. That gives me a nice bead every time. Try to keep them all about the same. It helps the job look a little nicer. Then just go down and finish these all off here. These panels are fun to make. They're easy. Uh, they, they, you can make them really quick. And uh, when they all go together to make the final product, it will look, uh, look 
pretty fancy and it'll also look like it was very difficult and it's not really that hard because the panels are pretty simple really. In the panel here, you could put anything in there you wanted to. You could put some bevels in there. You could put some di diamonds, um, anything you wanted to. Uh, you could cut this glass at random and uh, put it on different angles. For this particular one, we're just going to make it pretty simple. and We're just going to go straight down and fill it in. Okay, after we get them all done, we want to check it real quick. Make sure we haven't left anybody out. I usually just take an old washcloth that I have knock off <clears throat> just any, any, any excess flux that we have on here. I'm going to pull my pins out here. And so this gives you, this gives you an idea. This is going to be what our first panel looks like. We're going to turn it over. And now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that when we turn it over, uh, we're going to uh, not solder anything down here on the edges. Because remember, we're building this out. There's going to be another section that goes out here like this. And when we put that section on there, if we have a glob of solder or something here, it'll push it away from the edge here and we'll get a gap. And we don't want to have any gaps in here. So there's two things we're going to do on this one here. We're going to pull the cleat across the top, which will hold a little shelf that will hold our solar lights. And then down here on the bottom, we're going to put a little tab. The tab's going to be used to... Uh, hold our bottom in it because we want to put our bottom in it as for uh, help to re reflect the light back up. So we're taking, we'll take and flux this down real quick. Just like that. Right across here, I'm not going to solder, uh, I'm going to solder these two on the outside, but nothing in the middle here because we're going to put our cleat down and I want the cleat to sit right against this piece of H came. So we'll solder that one and this one. Then we'll just go down here and we'll solder the rest of these. The uh, colors you pick to go in here, uh, I, these are just picked at random. So uh, <clears throat> if you have a color scheme that you want to go with, you can uh, do that. Like in the other one we did, the other uh, octagon is kind of under the C colors. It's all turquoise, purples, and so forth. This one here is just going to be a whole bunch of different colors. We're going to have some more uh, reds, some yellows, oranges, blues, greens, all, the, whole, the whole gamut of colors here. All right, very good. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to pull this up here. We're going to set this on the side. We're going to take our H cane right here. And this is just at random. I don't have to measure this. I'm just going to put this in here like this. I'm going to need four of these because we're going to use them for. So we'll just cut four real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to use a pair of medical clamps. They look like this. Uh, they lock in place. If you don't have medical claps, if you've got an alligator clip like they use for electronics, that works well. So this is going to set in here like this. I'm just going to take and hold this like this. It's going to set right on its edge right here. I'm going to take and pull it down and going to clamp it in here. So now you can see that I've got it held in my clamp. I'm going to take my flux. I'm going to flux it just a little bit. I'm going to try to stay out of the way here. See if I can do this. Okay, so I'm going to hold it right in there, straight up and down. On my iron, if you look at the iron real close, you see that it's got just a little bit of a bubble of solder on it. Okay, that's enough to get it tacked in here. So I'm going to just stick it right in here. Try to get my fingers out of there. Right here. Just put it in here and let it flow off. When it flows off, and take your clamps out then you can come back in here with your iron tin it up a little bit and you can just take and you can solder this shut here all right that'll be the cleat that holds our solar lights 
If you want to turn it around, you can come back to this back side one. Just put a little solder on your on your iron and just stick it in here and let it flow off. And that'll solder that back one. Okay, so we got our cleat on here now. And we're going to put a tab down here at the bottom here, but we've got a couple problems here. We've got these legs sticking down. So we're going to have to do something with them. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to cut them off. I'll show you what we're going to do. Uh, here, these edges are kind of sharp. So I'm just going to take my dikes in here on a 45. And I'm going to trim this off. Just like that. Okay, for these guys here, I'm going to come back up here about uh, a quarter of an inch above my bottom of my U-came right here. And I'm going to just go in here and cut this on an angle. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to cut this to a point. Just like that. And then I'm just going to take it on my workbench and I'm going to just take and push it over. And what that does is that pushes that down into this hole right here, which is created because it's uh, where the glass is. That gives us a less area to solder. Uh, <clears throat> Some people made a little uh, elect to just take and cut these off flat and leave them open. I like to close them up and then I'm going to take and put it on an 80 grit sandpaper and sand it down completely smooth. So we'll show you what that looks like in a minute. You take rubbing down real tight. Okay. Okay. Now we need some way to hold this up because we're going to solder these sh shut. So if you're watching my other videos, I'm using a, a drill vise. And I noticed on some of the other videos, I try to balance it on these little pieces of form material. I'm going to try to try this idea today. I'm going to put a little piece of plywood down here. Then you'll get a chance to see it won't be wandering around. Now when I tighten this up here, I'm just tightening it up just enough to hold it. I don't want to squeeze it too tight and create a, a situation where I break my glass. I'm going to just take and flux this up a little bit. Take my siren iron right on this edge. Fill that in. If you don't do it that way, if you just cut them off flat, you can still solder them up. It's just a little more difficult because they got a bigger, a bigger opening area there. Okay, on this side here, we have a little gap right here. We want to fill up, and then we're going to go all the way around our, our cotter pin. So we're going to to do that. We're going to set this up on a little bit of an angle. Here again, we're going to tighten that up, but not enough to, to uh, just move this over here just a little bit. Not enough to uh, hurt our, her. Uh, break our glass and here we're just taking a we'll flux it a little bit and go all the way around the cotter pin here or our hanger just fill that in and here just put a little solder on your iron just hold it in here until it flows away just like that that way it sucks down around the cotter pin and you get a really nice uh, fit on this side here here again not too tight and I'm just going to go around the edge here with a little bit on my iron and let it fill this whole area in here nice and smooth just like that okay so we've got everything buttoned up here now you could probably just leave these like that if you wanted to they don't look too bad uh, but over here we got a nice uh, joint there this looks good here but this little blob right here, I'm going to take and sand that all down so uh, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like. So we'll be back in a minute. We're going to have this all sanded down and cleaned up. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our plate on the bottom here to hold our bottom in. So uh, we'll be right back and uh, we'll uh, finish this panel up. And then uh, I'll go ahead and go offline and make the other seven. And then when we come back, we will we'll, uh, show you how we're going to put them together. Okay, so we're back. We got our panel all cleaned up here. We got the 
edges all soldered shut and we've got them all chamfered around the down a little bit here around our uh, hanger here this looks really good so that won't be coming out of there and down at the other end we got the two ends down here that are all finished off so now what we're going to do we're going to put our little plate on the bottom and we're going to do it like this just put your panel down the little shelf that we're going to put on there this little plate is made out of uh, galvanized tin uh, I take and burnish the, uh, the galvanize off of it a little bit because it doesn't usually solder very well. And it's going to go right in here. So you just put it up against your form. You can just kind of eyeball this in the middle of here. It's not super critical. What is critical, though, is you, after you put it in there, take your pen and take and mark along the back of the came here. Because the came we're using is rounded. So if you don't do that, this little sharp edge that's on here down below will stick below the rounded part of the came and somebody could cut themselves on it. So mark it and then take and pull it up about an eighth of an inch above your um, came here. Push it in tight and then take your little piece of form wood here and just take a pin and stick it in here right here like that. Take your flux. Flux that up real good. Take your iron, just tin it here, stick it in here, and then give it a good dose of solder. Just pull it along here and just let it flow in there. Just like that. And there you're done with it. So that's all there is to making the panels. So like I said before, we'll go offline. I'll make uh, seven more of these. Three more will have the cleat and the little shelf for our, our uh, bottom in it and a hanger. And the other four will just be plain. They won't have either one. So when we come back, uh, we'll have them all made up. And then we're going to show you how we're going to put them together. So we'll be back in a little while. Okay, as you can see, we're back. And uh, we've got all our panels made now. We've got eight of them total. Over here, we've got three with the cleats on them for our solar lights. We've got the tab to hold our bottom in, plus we've got one in our jig. Over here, we've got three more with nothing on them. So they go together as a pair or a set. And the, the jig I'm using is uh, set on a 60 degree angle. So uh, I, have, I have a number of different ones. Here's what they look like. Uh, this one here is on a 45, has a couple little tabs at the back here to bring everything up to, the, up to it. And it has a little plate right here a little board so that when they sit in here they sit with a nice v in them so uh this is uh, made on a on a table saw with or a miter box where you can cut the angles so this one that we're using is on a 60 degree angle we've got two pieces in here right now so we just take our uh, flux we run it right down the middle here and then we're going to take our solder and iron and we're just going to put a solder joint right here. We'll put about three or four down here. Down at the ends, I usually just put some on my uh, solder and iron, a little bit of solder. I use my gloves here and I just hold it so it's, so you don't get any gaps down here at the bottom. Whoops. I have a little bit more solder than that. There you go. Now like we've done in the other ones up here at the top here, I'm going to fill this in solid. And I just do that because this is the only area that people see up here. Just like that. So that creates one point for our star right here. And this is what we're looking for right here. We want to be sure we don't have any bleed through and it's nice and straight. So that'll be one point of our star. I'll go offline and put all the rest of these together. And then we'll show you how we're going to put the star together. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So now we've got our sets of two into sets of four so uh, this gets a little more complicated right now so i'm going to show you we'll go back to our drawing here 
And if you remember, our panels are three and an eighth inch long here, so that's the width this way here. But between where they're going to come together here, between here and the point to point is only three quarters of an inch. So the these were soldered on the inside and in here. So they were soldered on the V groove in the slot. The ones here are going to be basically, they're going to be soldered on the outside edge coming along here. So we have to turn this over. So what I've done is I've made a little jig here and I've just uh, put it down on our board here. I use my square and I put two down pieces here and I have a piece of form wood right here. There's three quarters of an inch high. I have a backstop here. So the way this works is we're going to take our first project or our first set of two. We're going to set it in here just like this right on the three quarter inch mark. And then we're going to take this next set. We're going to set it in here and it's going to go right up to these right there. And I'm just going to take a small piece of wood here, just to form, and I'll just take a couple of push pins here, and I'm going to push it uh, just up, not, not to pinch it, but just enough up to hold it here a little bit. One there and one here. Okay, so this is the area we're going to solder right here. And now, until we get it all adjusted the way we want it, I'm just going to solder this real light here. It's not going to have a lot of solder joints, so we have some wiggle room to move it around. So we're going to come in here and we're going to flux this up a little bit. Kind of make sure they're up as tight as you can get them here. Okay, you just take your iron and we're going to take our solder. I'm just going to put a couple little joints right here just to hold this together right now. One there, and we'll put one here. Okay, so that gives us a set of four now. So when we turn these up, they're going to look like this. This will be part of our star. Okay, so see these are coming together there. So then we're going to take the second set here. And we're going to set it in here. Put it in here like this. Make sure they end together. We'll pin it back here. Make sure it's down tight. Flex that up. We're just going to put a couple of solder joints on it. Alright, now we need to marry this one and this one together. So I'll take this apart real quick and then we'll come back and we'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so we're back. We got the sets of uh, two put into sets of four now. So now we're going to marry the whole thing together. So we're going to use our same setup here. And I got my lovely wife to come out and shoot the video so you can see what we're doing. So we're going to take a set right here. We're going to set it in against our stop and we're going to pull it all the way up here. This will be resting right here on our three quarter. Then we're going to take the next set down here and we're going to move it right in here all the way up. So we got a nice V right through here. I'll just bring this over here just real quick and just put it down just a little bit just to hold it for us. But this is the area we're going to solder right here through here and make sure you got it down good and tight. Go take your flux and we're going to flux it up a little bit and here again we're just going to spot solder this because we're going to let me reach over here and get my solder in. we're going to just spot solder this because we're going to need to make some final adjustments on it when we move it around so i'm just going to take and put some solder on my iron i'm going to reach around here and i'm going to hold this down and i'm just going to put this right here I'm going to solder it right there. Then I'm going to do that again. Put some more solder on my iron. Hold it down tight and just going to put another joint right here. Just 
just like that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take and we're going to rotate this all the way around here again. So you can see we've got lots of moving pieces here. And we're going to put it in here like that, and that's the way it should work, just like that. So we got our pieces right here. Now you could free build this without making all this little form, but it's going to be a lot harder to try to hold it. So I would recommend going a little extra mile and spending some time to put this together so that you uh, get it to come out fairly even. Because then we can make our final adjustment on it. So we're going to go ahead and we'll flux this up in here. And I'm just going to come in here, put some solder on my iron. Just set it right in here. Solder. Down here a little bit, I'm going to come down here with a little iron, a little bit of solder. Solder it back in here. That one didn't do real good. Let's put a little more solder on here. There we go. Okay. So now here's our project. So you can see, <laughs> that was hot. So we can see that it's made our star. So now we'll take and we'll measure this all up. So make sure these are all at the right angle before we before we solder it up anymore. And we'll probably put some spacers across here and across here to keep it to hold its shape. But that's how we're going to get our panels together. So anyway, so that's what the project's going to look like. So it gives us a four corner star. Sometimes they call that the Christmas star. So anyway, uh, we'll get it all shaped up where we want it. And we'll put some uh, spacers across there to hold it in shape. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll finish up the project. All right, we're back. We've got our lantern all cleaned up now. So this is our four point star. It uh, has uh, come out real nice for us. So this sometimes is called a Christmas star with the four points on it. So if you watched an earlier video, you saw that I had some bracing running across the side here. Uh, I guess I should have looked at that a little closer because they ran right across where my lights were going to go. So I took that out and I created another one here in the middle for uh, to hold this so it holds its shape. So put any bracing in here, make sure it's not going to interfere with your lights. On the bottom here, we have our we have our four little tabs here, and uh, so that's where our shelf is going to uh, stick or stay on with. And uh, this is what our shelf looks like. Uh, it's made out of uh, the same material that we made for the uh, for the hold the uh, solar lights. This is out of the cutting mat for the quilters. And it's a kind of a plastic uh, rubberized holds up well. So anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to take and we're going to take some silicon seal here and we're going to put it on where the tabs are going to be. I stuck this in here and measured where these tabs are so we can get a so we can get an idea where to put our silicon seal. So I just put a dab on here. This is a little bit tricky because the the star creates kind of a problem. So you need to need to be able to get it in here. So I'm going to set it in here, get up over all of our tabs. When I get over all of our tabs, then I'm going to bring it back down. And then I'm going to take it here and we're just going to reach inside. And we're going to push it around here. You've got to get this one over here on this side. There we go. And then it falls in place here. So I can take a little stick here of our form wood, push it down against our tabs. And so I don't want to glue it down to our our towel that we're working on here. I'm just going to take some of our my little form wood here, and we'll stick it on here to keep that up off of there, so we don't have a, a problem with it sticking down to the uh, to the towel okay so after you get it on your little form wood you can you can go around here push this down nice and tight so this will give us our reflective bottom for it now so now in the top here this is where our solar lights are going to go we've, we've cut a piece to go in here it sits in here you can glue this down if you like uh, if you want to glue it down, you can put it, uh, 
anywhere anywhere in here you want. Uh, we have the little tabs that we put in here right here, so you can do it there. Or in this case here, we can just glue it right to this one here that we just put in, so we can do that. All right. So then we've got the bottom in it. We've got our top in it for our lights. Here's where all here's where all the lights are going to go. So we measured that properly. So we got all our lights in here. Okay, so we got our lights put in here now. They all fit good. So our measurement was correct, which is good because we went to a lot of trouble to make all those panels. Our chain we're going to use has a split ring on the top, a ball bearing swivel, two more split rings, and it's got our number 16 jack chain, which is the open chain. Uh, we're just going to take it and we're going to take it on the, uh, the open loop, stick it in here, and sometimes it wants to get stuck to itself, so we have to we'll stick it here. And this one here will go in here. And then you can just take your long nose pliers, come up here, and you can close this shut so it won't come out, especially if it's in the windy area. Then we'll come over on the other side here. We'll put the other two on here. And then we're like we've done to all the rest of them. We'll take this into the laundry room. And uh, we'll light it up and show you what it's going to look like when, uh, when it goes dark. All right, so here's our project. This is a four-point star, sometimes referred to as a Christmas star. It came out nice. Here's what it's going to look like at nighttime. So I'm real happy the way it came out. I hope you guys will give us a try. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.